Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex here. A recent study came out by Ryerson University that Toronto is the fastest growing city in North America. So if you're thinking of moving to Toronto, Canada, or already live in Toronto, Canada, then this is a pretty useful report to give some information in terms of what's happening in the city, the growth. Now, the other interesting thing about this report was that some of the other major North American cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York actually had population decreases, whereas Toronto had an increase of just over 45,000. Now, this period was between July 2018 and July 2019, and also in the GTA, which is the Greater Toronto Area, or the Greater Toronto Hamilton Area, the GTA chain, which they call it now, had a population increase of over 127,000 people for that same period of time. And we're gonna get into the information right now. Okay, so the first report we're gonna look at is from the Toronto Star, and I'm gonna include the links with these three websites I'm gonna look at in the description below. So the one from the Toronto Star, titles the gta population growth top canadian and american cities in 2019 so this report by ryerson university ends for 12 months ends july 1st 2019 um, the main reason for the population growth is obviously through immigration unlikely to be derailed by the current pandemic the data shows that toronto was the fastest growing metropolitan area in canada and the us overtaken fort worth uh, arlington in texas and then the next website is going to show you some of the other cities as well. Now, in the metropolitan Toronto area, grew by over 127,000 people, um, which is a huge amount. Now, the interesting thing that I found from this report that it says that New York, LA, and Chicago all shrank over that same period of time, with the largest one losing just over 60,000 people. But with Toronto's immigration advantage, we gained over 45,000 in the city of Toronto, while New York shrank by just over 53,000 people. So this report shows that overall the Canadian cities represented 11 out of the top 20 cities in Canada and the US for population growth. And Montreal was the second largest city um, to get more than 31,000 residents as well. So the second website we're gonna look at is Radio Canada International and it's titled Toronto, the fastest growing city and region in North America. Now, for those of you that are not that familiar with Toronto, the GTA area, this map kind of explains it a little bit. So your Toronto is the orange location here. To the east, you've got uh, towns, cities like Pickering, Ajax and Whitby in the blue location. To the north of Toronto, you've got Vaughan, Markham, Richmond Hill, King, Newmarket, etc., known as the York region. To the west of Toronto, in this red location here, you've got Mississauga, Brampton and Caledon. West of that, in the Halton region, you've got locations in cities like Oakville, Burlington, and Milton. And finally, west of that, just as you're going around the corner of Lake Ontario, Lake Ontario, you've got the city of Hamilton. So this is what is considered the GTHA. So we've now included Hamilton in the greater Toronto area. So in this report, it does show that Toronto metropolitan area grew by 127,000 people. And the second spot went to Dallas, Fort Worth in the Arlington, Texas area of just over 117,000, which is also interesting. Now, in terms of the actual cities and the number of population increases from this graph, you can see the yellow marked areas are Canadian cities. The blue are cities in the US. So top is Toronto. Second is Dallas, Fort Worth. Now, the second largest growing city in Canada for the same period was Montreal in Quebec followed by Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton, which are obviously at much lower numbers. And again, one of the most interesting things from this report was that the largest metropolitan areas in North America, which include New York, Chicago, and LA, didn't make the list as they all recorded population declines. So I hope you guys found that video useful. I found it pretty interesting to see that Toronto and the surrounding area is growing quite a lot compared to other major North American cities like Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago that are actually decreasing in their population. Um, it's very interesting to see these reports and that these areas are also growing as well. So I'll also include a link to the video if you're thinking about moving to Toronto, Canada as well. And thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.